Well, so at the end of the session yesterday, we finished up the fight here in the sealed gate. I actually stepped into Eden for a little bit um, before I was like, I don't know if I can uh, handle another massive fight. So we decided to stop. We At that point, we had already been playing for like three and a half hours. So... I was like, we had our, we'd done all the fighting in the Grave of the Ancients, Forbidden City, and the Sealed Gate, which was like a pretty long fight there. We, we divided the fight up into three acts, basically. Um, but that's pretty much all we did last uh, session, which was yesterday. And I just had to stop because I was... I, I, I cannot handle another fight after spending three and a half hours fighting through three maps. So, like I said at the end of the stream yesterday... I said, I'm expecting a fight in Eden. Why? I don't know. I don't know. If it, it might not even make sense, but I'm expecting a, a big boss fight or something in Eden, which is why I stopped. But if it turns out that there's like a cutscene and the game ends or something, I'm going to feel really stupid that I stopped yesterday. But we'll see if that's, uh, if that's the case. So. Is this an actual elevator to a new underground map, says Remingtons? Let's find out. Um, so, real quickly, when this thing opened up, we, we got a, like a little cutscene or whatever, and it opened up and it scanned our mutant friends here as if it was allowing them to like pass into this thing. So, we step in and it takes us somewhere. So let's see where it takes us to Eden, of course. I don't know. It's I don't remember if it was stated that it was a um this place. I know this place. I've been here before. I don't know if this was stated that it was a elevator. I guess it. I guess it is. But yeah, add roll credits. Yeah. The reason I stopped is because um. This area just looks like it's kind of massive, kind of. I've seen that star before, on those flying machines. They really did come from Eden. Hammond was right. So I, I went to... Uh, we have a path to the left, to the middle, to the right. I went to the both side paths, and then I was like, okay, I need to stop. But like I said, that might be a, that might have been a mistake, but we'll see. So this facility, this Mimir facility, is people that made uh, like those giant mechs and stuff. Um, I, as well as I guess they were like recruiting, um, recruiting people into the, I don't know, whatever this is. Military recall. Command is in a state of total panic following the loss of Orbital Z1. A order has been issued to return all militarized robots and equipment directly to Unit Theta. My suspicions are confirmed without a shadow of a doubt. We are at war. I can only hope that this is quick, regardless who wins. But um, the whole point of us coming to Eden was apparently there's like the secret to life here or something. Um, and also... It it's, has some relation to, like, why there are mutants in this world. Like, why is Ducks and Borman and the rest of the lot have, like, special powers and stuff? Apparently the answers are found here. Which is why our characters were like, we gotta know where we came from and who we are and stuff. But, uh, let's go over here. The waters of life? I knew this med pack was gonna be here. I got mutant powers, but psychic ain't one of them. So he's starting he's starting to remember this facility as if like he was maybe created here. I don't know. Med kit? What does it mean when there's a med kit? Does that mean there's gonna be a fight? Project cancelled. Evacuation orders have been given a destruction order or has been given and a destruction order has been issued for all research, including the healthy 
Biological subjects. This has upset a number of us, not just for ethical reasons, but for the sheer loss of what we have accomplished. Uh, the news has hit Ingmar particularly bad. He has locked himself in the birthing chamber and the subjects with the subjects and refuses to open the door. So we have found like some like basically like recordings of Ingmar throughout the, the game. And I guess he was behind like a lot of the the um, scientific stuff here, like maybe creating mutants or something. Nothing else here. I better, I better, uh, maybe I should heal up. I literally have no idea if there's a fight or not. If there is, we'll reload and refit to uh, our characters or whatever. More machines. Everybody keep quiet. I think they're asleep. Whoa. Quarantine area. Look at this place. Either the rot finally got to our heads, or we're standing in the actual Eden. Frickin' Eden, people! The Elder tried to keep us away from this place, but the truth shall set you free, old man! <laughs> Another note here. Whoa. Peace talks fail. It is a tense and dreadful time. We have heard whispers that the peace talks have broken down irreparably. Uh, and to confirm this somewhat, Command has just ordered us to consider Elysium as hostile and forcible, forcibly remove, if, necess if necessary, any Elysium diplomats and scientists from the facility. This is a sad day for us all. The playground here. This can't be real. I'm not seeing this. So basically, what you're saying is we were test subjects. Our whole life is a lie, boys. Okay, this is freaking me out. We are deep underground, right? Because this looks a lot like a tree. The final battle takes place in a playground. Uh, there's a door over that way. What's over here? Other door. Uh, let's go over here, I guess. Oh no, we're dropping frames again. Every day. All right, let's wait for this to pass. Man. It doesn't want me to finish the game. They don't want me to know the answers. They don't want me to know the answers to Eden. Here. Whoa, there's baby cribs in here. Six, seven, six. Question? Query. Not sure if it's my PC thing or not.
What was a picture of, of Borman on there? Like a drawing or something. So whenever a stream skips and stops, an audio stops and resumes, my audio goes wonky. I have to unpause or pause unpause to fix. I don't know. I don't think I've ever had that happen to me, but I don't know. I, I sometimes like if a stream starts buffering, I just pause and unpause anyway. And Wonky doesn't even describe it. I wonder what it sounds like. It's probably like brr brr. Is it? Do I sound like a robot or something? It's sort of like if my sound took weed. It's nearly nauseating. Ah. Like hazy and off key. I that actually sounds kind of cool to be honest. Not gonna lie. Whoa. <laughs> Check out this picture. That is one ugly monster. <laughs> Wait a second. That's Borman. That's Borman. Here, dude. Just my thing, then. Maybe. Probably a good chance. Save it. A lot of rooms in here. Um, let's go in here. Another note here. Bone density report 12 weeks. I'm guessing that's what that means. Uh, skeleton is a bunch of science stuff. Da, 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 da. To the mass of the mammal skeletons, 15% 15 was added to the account. Uh, yeah, I don't know what this means. Science stuff. Check this out. I think this is a corpse of an actual mutant. The Horned Devil. Never seen a dead mutant before. Well, proves we can die. That's a happy thought. I wish I had that mutant in my party. He, he looks pretty cool. All right, let's go. We already, f we already found... How many notes did we find already? Three? Oh, there's, there's uh, four notes we found. There's one more. Probably in here. Well, they definitely were doing some sciencey stuff. Oh, last note. DNA analysis. The data yielded a maximum likelihood of... A bunch of numbers and letters. Uh... If this is real science stuff, I'd like to know what this means. Oh, what does it say here? Haplotypes A and C were combined, which masks uh, domestic pigs. Wild boar. Okay. Sciencey terms. I don't think there's anything else in here. Oh wait, let's check this. Oh, so there's Borman and there's ducks right there on the x-rays. Let's make sure there's no investigate. I don't think there is in this room. All right, so we found all the notes. This is a long walk to the final boss. What if the final boss is me? Like ourselves. It's the real, it's the real ducks. Oh, look at the shiny screens. 
Bet those screens can shed some light on what's going on around here. Finally. <laughs> The dead end. We huddle around the screen. The words Mutant Project blink on and off in big red letters. The screen turns black, then explodes with a flurry of flashing images, faster than we can take in. I catch glimpses of mutants in test tubes, animals in cages, strands of code, something called DNA. The screen freezes on one final image. An employee profile. A scientist of the Mutant Project. It says his name is Ingmar Edison. His face. When we see his face, those eyes staring back at us, we couldn't believe it. It was him. The Elder? The profile says his status was revoked after stealing mutant experiments from the lab. Memories come flooding back. We were the experiments. They raised us in tubes and played games with our DNA. Made us freaks. The Elder was part of this. Happy endings died with the ancients. Why didn't he tell us? Who is he? The room spins. The truth comes flooding back into my brain. Everything I know is a lie. I lose my balance. As the room turns black, a voice crackles onto the radio. Ghost-like, ethereal, like the ancients calling down from space. Command Center Sweden. Coming, Command Center Sweden. I repeat. Come on, Center Sweden. Come on, Center Sweden. Come in, come on, Center Sweden. I'll we'll answer him. End of the game. No. Oh my God! It was the end. I could have finished this game yesterday. Well, let's wait. Let's let's wait. There could be something after the credits. There could be something after the credits. Plot twist, the cliffhanger, I know. All right, stop. I like the music. Who are these voice actors? I don't know any of these people. But they, they all did good voices though. music.
Is there more? Guess not. Uh, okay. So at the very end, we find out that Igmar is the elder in the Ark. That he, that he was the guy that's always like, stop venturing towards Eden. You don't need to. Uh, he, kept, he kept trying to prevent us uh, once we got Hammond. And if he was behind, um, like, pretty much everything, like working for the this company and um creating mutants and testing on them and stuff like that he basically tested on all the characters that we played in this game ducks borman pharaoh selma magnus uh so that's kind of unsettling a little bit i really hope that there is a some sort of scene here when when the credits are done because I need I need more answers. If the game ends like this, I guess I'm okay with it because there's hope that there might be like a sequel to this or something uh which I would really love to see. But yeah, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I will say that when I am done with the stream, I'm going to send a tweet to uh the Mut Mutant Year 0 folks. Let them know how much I love the game and uh, how much we need a sequel. We're dropping frames, but don't worry. It's, it's just cutscenes. Or not cutscenes, it's just credits rolling. I kind of like it this way, says Remington. It's up to you whether if they go back and kill them or leave them be, but that RP in me. <laughs> yeah. So sorry the, the credit roll here is a little bit jittery. Uh, hopefully the... Okay, credits are done. Come on, internet, stop being dumb, please. Is that it? Gotta press back, apparently. All right, let's wait before let's wait for the uh, internet to stop being stupid. I really want this cuts. If there is a cutscene or something, I want it to. Uh, to be smooth. Smooth sailing. All right, I'm doing it quick. I regret nothing. No, oh, it just ends that way? Well, all right. <laughs> okay. Wow, uh, so I, I was proven wrong that there was any sort of fight at the in Eden. Um, the fight before it at the Steel Gate was the very last fight, uh, which was a little tough, but not terrible, terribly tough. Well, that's it then. <laughs> that's the end of Mutant Year Zero. What happens if I say load? Load right there. Okay. Yeah, that's, like I said, it, it's fine if it ends that way, but it's just like, uh, I want to know more. I want to know, like... Do, are mutants so angry and ragey that they go back to the Ark and, and question the, the Elder or or kill him? Or if they go back and he's not there? Like, oh, I don't know. I, I would really dig another game like this, though, for sure. Whether it follows the same characters or not, I don't know. I, I, I would like that, but... It's up to them if they would want to do that, but I would love it, another game like this for sure. I had a lot of fun playing it. It was, it was a lot of fun. the The characters were good. The dialogue was great. Voice actors were good. Uh, combat was fun. Exploration was great. That was something that was uh, a bit of a twist in, in a game like this compared to XCOM. So I really like it. Pretty good. I mean, the game is called Road to Eden. Nothing happens after you get to Eden, Kappa. That's true. <laughs> that is true. Wow, and we finished this game up in about like 30 minutes. So I could have I could have finished this game yesterday. Um, but I I figured there was gonna be a fight at the end. So that's why I didn't continue. I had already done three and a half hours of fights before getting to Eden, so I was like, eh. 
but whatever, man. So I would say a really good game. It's got great music as well, I forgot to say that. Good game, guys. It was fun.